Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to add these glyphs for these two. I mean, look at this. It's so pretty, right? Uh, so the top one, and I wanted to show you this before I flip over and I'll show you design space. Um, this top one is Kayla. That's the font. And I'll show you how to add the extra of the L so that it comes back and it has this heart. And then this is Pretty Baby. And look at Pretty Baby. We're going to do... You know, when you have two T's next to each other, it doesn't always look good. I'll show you how to find the double T's, uh, find the extra loop in the E. I mean, look at this E. It goes all the way over here and it has the hearts. I mean, it's adorable. And then if you haven't seen enough, I mean, look at the shine on that. I just, it's so stinking pretty. Um, this is the paper and look at that. Okay, so let me see if I can get a really good, it won't focus so well it is so pretty it, the texture is it's it's chunky it's chunky and it's sitting on top but it's smooth but you can tell that there's I mean it it looks like it's gold paper and then they literally added gold dots to it on top I mean it it's so pretty but I wanted to bring this out because I want to show you it cut perfectly on glitter cardstock because look at that you can tell I had no issues pulling it out. It all came out. I mean, look how thin this part of the L is um, and the H. I mean, this part right here is super thin. And then on this one, um, I don't think this one's as thin. I mean, first of all, it's way bigger, right? Um, oh no, it's, you know, it's not way bigger. The name itself is not bigger. It's all the extras that come out. Um, I mean, this is pretty thin. I don't know, this H part is super thin to me. I feel like that's the thinnest cut that I have. But um, you can see that on here, look, it, it pulled straight out because you can see there's no stress on the paper. And on the back, there's no, you know, like when it gets stuck or whatever, it's clear that it came straight out. Same thing with this one. This one had a little bit of trouble. You can see it right there in the R. It's so thin right there. I'll pull out. You can see the R right there. There's a little dip right there. And you can see it in the back that it, it, everything cut cleanly except for this little part right here. And it's only because it got so thin that it pulled up. It, it wasn't anything more than, um, you know, like the different layers coming apart. So it wasn't like it didn't cut well. But there you have it. So this paper is Recollections and it's called, it's just glitter cardstock. In gold it's so pretty okay I'm gonna flip the cameras so that you can see what's going on um, ah it's just me <laughs> and here we go here's my desktop all right both fonts are on creative fabrica the cool thing about creative fabrica is you can get the single fonts I'll have the links in the description sorry I'm moving my, my desk my chair over you can buy the fonts by themselves or you can try out the, um, the membership special that I have. So for a dollar, you get to try out Creative Fabrica for the month. Um, and you can see if it's worth it. Uh, you can get both fonts. With the membership, what happens is you get a commercial license usage. So that means if I were to put this on a cake topper, I can sell my cake topper. Um, and I... I think of Creative Fabrica kind of like Spotify. So as long as I have the membership, I have access to everything on the site and I can use everything. Um, so anyway, I'll have all the links there. You can buy them separately or you can try the dollar membership. If you try the dollar membership, make sure that um, you put in the code, the useless crafter 30, because if you keep the subscription, you get 30% off applied every month um until you cancel so you want to make sure that you enter it then though because you can't add it afterwards all right now that we have this let's go to design space so i can show you how to do it i have it on the side so that i know exactly what it looks like ah they're so pretty i mean i made my daughter's name because i know she'll she'll like having them but i might have to use them for uh, birthday gift tags and just put it on top of the present i think it's just gorgeous okay so once you find it on here you download it if you have the membership you just download if you need to purchase it it's just like buying on any other site 
let's go to design space okay so in design space what you want to do is go to text and okay once you download the file or the font you need to close up design space if it's currently open if it's not open then you can just open it up after you've downloaded the files it will automatically be in here so you go to your font selection and we're going to select pretty baby so here's pretty baby and i'm going to type in charlotte just exactly the way so you need to double click on it here we go so i'm going to make this big so that you can uh you know what no i'm going to zoom in okay so a couple things, here's the double T's that I was talking about, right? What you need to do is you need to go and get main type. Oh, it'd be helpful if I typed it correctly. High logic main type, okay? You want that. Um, once you download it, it's free. So I'm gonna use the free edition. Just go to Google and Google main type, okay? Um, what it does is it gets all your fonts in here. And so let's look up pretty baby. And we're almost there. Where are you? Here you are, pretty baby. So I'm gonna make this bigger. Hopefully you can see it a little bit more. Can I move it over here? Oh, I can't move it over here. Okay, so under pretty baby, I can see all of the, all of the mm, details that you can use. I don't, I don't know which word to use right there. So for instance, I think for the letter C, we went with the crazy C in front. So I'm gonna scroll down to see all my options. And here we go. Capital C, I think is, so you can click on it. Oh, I can't see, I think it's this one. So hit Control C, cause this is highlighted right now. So Control C, I'm gonna go back into design space and I'm gonna click on text and I'm gonna hit Control V. So there's my C, okay? It is important that when you open up the text box that the font matches the font that you're gonna drop in, okay? So I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna drop in the double T's, okay? So we're gonna go back to main type and here's my double T's. See, it looks beautiful, right? So it's highlighted, Control C. I'm gonna go back to design space and just in this text box, I'm gonna hit Control V. So I don't need this stuff, right? So now we've gotten everything except for the gorgeous E at the end. So let's go get that. So here we're gonna look and see, okay, so there is an E here, but I don't know if that's the E that I use. So let me scroll and see if there's any other options. Okay, it must be that one. Um, just want to make sure. All right. So I'm going to click this control C, go back to design space and go to text box and control V. And so now, yep, here's all my letters, right? So on this one, I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to get rid of my C and I'm going to scoop this C in. Um, is it connected? No, my C is not connected. Oh no, my C is connected. All right, so I'm gonna connect the C. Um, I'm gonna get rid of my two T's and put in my two T's here. Now, the way I did this, I ended up moving the E over so that I had more space because I didn't want this heart to touch the L. So I'm gonna move it over as much as I can without touching it because I, I want it separate. Okay, and then this E I'm going to just delete and then put this beautiful E in and there's Charlotte exactly the way I had it, right? So now I'm gonna grab the whole thing and I wanna weld it. Okay, now that it's welded, I'm gonna go and do the offset because if you remember, I've got two layers behind it. So I'm gonna grab offset and you know, I've been loving the really, really thin offset. So it's 0 0.05 and then I'm gonna hit tab so that it can update and I'm going to apply. Then I am going to do another offset and apply. So if you wanna see exactly the layers, then I would do, let's see, this one was gold. Then I went with purple, oh no, blue. I went with blue and then I did a different gold in the background. 
So it looks like that, which looks awful, but <laughs> let me flatten it and see if it looks better. No, that does not look better. Um, anyway, the, the, those are the three colors. Let's do the next one. The next one is let's go to text and it was Kayla. So let me type in Kayla and there it is. So now I'm gonna type in Charlotte. Now on this one, I think the only thing I changed was I looked for the double T because again, I did not like how the T looks. Um, and then I did a different L. So let's go into main type and look up Kayla. So the Kayla font. There it is, Kayla regular. And over here you can see all my different ones. Um, let's see, I did the double T, right? So here's the double T. So you see how like the, the top part, it's smooth and it's one piece. So I have it highlighted, Control C. I'm gonna go back to design space and click on text and Control V. So there's my double T, which it almost feels like is, oh, and it's even higher. So you see how it's just, it's a little bit different. Um, this little piece extends a little bit more. It's just a prettier double T. Then I'm gonna go get the L. So let's go in here and look at our L. So our options for L, I think the one that I chose was this one right here. But you could also do this one. But because she has the O-T-T-E after that, this one was the best one for me. So I'm gonna hit that Control C, go back to design space, and click on the text box. Make sure that the text box font is the same as the one I'm dropping in. Control V and there is my new L. So cute, right? So this one I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna get rid of the L and my two T's. Drop in my new T's. And drop in my L. I'm gonna do this move this over a little bit so you can make some adjustments right uh, we could even we could drop this what did I do um I made mine smaller that's what I did so my mine did not touch so I'm gonna make it even a little bit smaller okay Move it over a little bit so that it fits nicely here. And then I'm gonna move this one over here. There. Grab this whole thing and weld it. And then again, the 0.05 offset. So I'm gonna apply. And let's look at this offset and contour and see. If... Oh, what happened to my, I can't see the picture. Where is it? Okay, I can't see it, but anyway, um, we can do another offset, apply, and there you have it. So. Um, I hope this was helpful. That's how you get all the beautiful little, I know it, it, sometimes it looks a little bit too much, but it's so pretty and I wanna show you the, those options. All right, any comments, questions, please post them below. I'll get back to you. Any special requests, that too. We would love to see that. Um, all right, see you later.